The nature of birth is changing. Scientists have grown lambs in artificial wombs. They grew a mouse embryo, complete with beating heart cells, a head, and the beginning of limbs in a glass jar. And in the not-too-distant future, artificial wombs and technologies like CRISPR gene editing could replace human mothers and natural birth. But to understand how things might change, we need to understand how things currently work. The journey from conception to birth begins when a sperm fertilizes an egg. Up to 100 million sperm are released, all racing towards the ovum, but only one of them succeeds. After fertilization takes place and the egg implants in the uterus, a rapid process of cell division begins. Development at four weeks. At the end of week three, the ball of cells starts transforming into an embryo the basic structure that will eventually form the head, chest, abdomen, and internal organs has begun to form. Pregnancy hormones are released, which can be detected in a home pregnancy test at this stage of development. Development at eight weeks. The foundation of a face starts to take shape. Ears, eyelids, and the tip of the nose begin to develop. Limb buds grow into arms and legs. Around week five, the heart starts beating. The embryo also begins to move, but the mother can't feel it yet. Development at 12 weeks. The embryo is now called a fetus. Vital organs like the brain, intestines, and liver are developing. The eyes grow but remain closed until week 28. The heartbeat may be audible with a Doppler fetal monitor. That's it! By this point, ultrasounds are performed to accurately establish the due date. Development at 16 weeks. The fetus begins to resemble an infant. The eyes blink. The heartbeat is easier to locate. Facial features are more apparent. And the fingers and toes are distinct. Fingerprints take a unique shape. Bones start replacing the cartilage in the arms, legs, and around the head. The baby bump starts to show in some women. At this point, the sex can be identified with ultrasound methods. Development at 20 weeks. At this stage, the fetus can yawn, stretch, move its facial muscles, and suck its thumb. It has developed regular sleep-wake cycles. The mother can now feel its movement, and another ultrasound is performed to finalize the due date. Development at 24 weeks. At 24 weeks, the ears are fully developed and can respond to sounds. The inner ear canal has formed, so the fetus can sense its position in the uterus. Sometimes the fetus will develop hiccups that the mother can feel. Development at 28 weeks. The fetus now has a chance of survival outside the uterus. It can respond to light and pain. Fat layers form rapidly to maintain its temperature after birth, and the bones are nearly developed. Development at 32 weeks. The brain is developing rapidly, and the fetus gains a lot of weight. 99% of fetuses born in week 34 can survive outside the womb. Development at 36 weeks. The fetus weighs about six pounds. At week 37, all the organs are fully developed. During this time, the fetus starts to rotate itself into the delivery position with the head downward into the pelvis. It's then ready to be delivered. The future. In the world of tomorrow, test tubes, bags, and incubators could replace the womb. Although it seems dystopian to some, it could improve health and well-being by allowing extremely premature babies to spend more time in a nurturing environment before being born. Such technologies would also enable a constant flow of data, making it easy to identify issues. Moreover, in China, a biophysicist seeking to control the HIV epidemic used CRISPR gene editing on two embryos. The twins were born in 2018, and although they were the first, it's unlikely that they will be the last. It may seem like science fiction, but remember that to previous generations, so would in vitro fertilization, a practice that is common today. <laughs>